Bismillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in summa amabad. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Assalamu alaikum sheikh. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Khair. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So again, as we mentioned, we have, um, as we were mentioning about our website, which is up now, and we have our books there, which is www.islamlife.com slash shop. And in, the, in our website, we have this book, Visiting Graves and Seeking Help from the Dead by Sheikh al-Islam Ahmed ibn Taymiyyah. So, Sheikh, could you tell us more about this book? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala al-mab'uthi rahmatan lil alameen, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een, wa ba'd. This is by Sheikh al-Islam, period. So, I think everyone should pay attention. Uh, this is Sheikh al-Islam. True scholars of Islam, they know Aqeedah, they know the ayat about Aqeedah in the Quran and Sunnah, the specifics of Aqeedah, Tawheed, and Shirk. Uh, these days, there are popular people who claim to be callers to Islam who promote invoking dead people uh, and saying it's not shirk. After all these centuries, I don't understand it. After all these centuries, many Muslims jumped to the occasion to the extent of some of them saying, ah, we didn't know we can invoke dead people. <clears throat> we can't invoke dead people, whether one is ignorant or knowledgeable. Ignorance has no value in deciding this act as being shirk. So this is a letter Imam Ibn Taymiyyah wrote in response to questions that came to him, Rahimahullah, about specifically the issue of, you know, shirk with the dead. Look at the title. I mean, it says all visiting graves. So he's going to talk about a ziyara shari'iyah, a ziyara al bid'iyah, ziyara visiting graves according to sharia, and visiting graves according to bid'ah. In this case, shirk. He stated very clearly that those who invoke dead people commit shirk, and that the shirk of it is explained in various ways in the Quran and Sunnah. There are a hadith that some people keep bringing, and uh, these hadith they say they say this means we can invoke uh, dead people, whatever. It's, they're all false. There is not a hadith that says you can invoke a dead people for uh, dead people for help. I explained before in some videos that uh, what is the biggest trouble that dead people have faced? Death. The dead. If they could help anyone, they would have helped themselves and stayed in this life. Those who are righteous would like to stay some more so they can worship Allah some more and you know ask him for forgiveness some more. The sinners and the kuffar want to stay here because they know what's going to meet them <laughs> with Allah when they meet him. See? So invoking dead people is shirk. And I can't say more about this. This is not a lengthy book. Allah is full of evidence, knowledge, explanation, and the conclusion throughout the book that a part of shirk that takes one out of Islam is to invoke dead people for help. And I encourage everyone, everyone, everyone really to read this book because the fitna by some people who are famous <clears throat> who have their own, uh, you know, viewers in the tens of thousands or more who promote shirk. What can I say? This is this is clearly what they're saying and doing and uh, attacking Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab rahimahullah because he brought some kind of shirk that didn't exist before. Well, Ibn Taymiyyah, as we all know, lived and died centuries <laughs> before Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab and the ayat and the hadith he brings in came 
centuries before Muh- before Ibn Taymiyyah came to this life. Sahih. Unbelievable, unbelievable, unbelievable. This time and age, with people facing so much trouble in this world, they want to hang on to La ilaha illallah, to invoke Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone without partners, to feel in their heart the beauty and the sweetness of Iman, that some people are calling them back to shirk. And many of them are defending these callers to shirk. And what they're calling to is shirk, according to the scholars of Islam. This is Ibn Taymiyyah. I mean, who do you want to come explain to you these things? I translated this book, alhamdulillah. And the editors are my family and uh, uh, also uh, Brother Shariq from uh, Jamiyat Ahl al-Hadith in Canada. And I think you will benefit so much, so much from reading this book. So I ask you all, uh, read for the scholars for the sake of Allah. Finally, for the sake of Allah, I'm say, talking to so many brothers and sisters. Finally, for the sake of Allah, read. The first word that came from Allah to our Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the Quran was Iqra, read. So, O oh Muslim, Iqra. O oh Muslima, Iqra'i. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Jazakallah khairan, Shaykh. Um, so, as we mentioned again and again, these books are available in our website, www.islamlife.com slash shop. Um, you can also visit our website um, to find daily posts um, on current issues and the other books as well. And also, if you are benefiting from these videos, if you want to, if you want to support us in our dawah, then please donate. <coughs> the link is here in the video, um, and may Allah subhanahu wa taala accept accept it from us. Jazakallah khairan, Sheikh. Inshallah, yeah. we'll meet again. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. If you are benefiting from our videos, then please like, share, and subscribe so that it reaches others. Jazakallah khairan.